This common interview question is often answered incorrectly. I'm going to share with you four tips so that you have the correct answer and you can ensure your success during the nanny interview. If we haven't met before, I'm Michelle Kelsey, founder of The Nanny Solution by Nannies on Call. Each week we bring you new videos to educate and inspire you to get better jobs, make more money, and become leaders in the industry. If you're new here, consider subscribing so you don't miss any of our videos. Let's get right to it. When someone asks, tell me about yourself at the beginning of the interview, they're not asking for your personal life story. They're asking for your professional and educational background. Too many nannies answer this question personally, and it's hurting your chances of getting the job. Here's an example of something I've heard dozens of times. Tell me about yourself. Well, I'm a single mother of two kids. I've been divorced for a long time now and I've been raising my kids on my own. I figured nannying was a great way since I spend so much time with kids already and I have lots of experience. I saw your job posting and I'd be really interested in applying because it's really close to my house and the pay is great. Oh, oi. That is just not the way to start an interview. That is not what they're asking for. We have another video on oversharing. I'll post it up here. And that's just oversharing. You do not need to share any personal information. It may come out through the interview and that may, some of it may be pertinent. Many nannies are sharing much too much personal information during the interview and it is hurting their chances. So what should you do? You need to focus on your professional background and experience. What value do you bring to the family? Tip number one, give a snapshot of your professional and educational background. Families want to hear what you're gonna to bring to the table and what value you bring to them if they're gonna hire you. So start by an overview of your professional experience, your background, what you've been doing instead of your personal. So something like this. I specialize in working with toddlers. I've worked for the last five years in a variety of positions from EA in a kindergarten to working in a daycare to being a private nanny for a family with two preschool age children. I love working with this age and I've had many successes in both their education, their growth and development and their activities. Something general and brief. If you have multiple experiences, you might even want to go into each one a little more specifically, but you're going to give an overview of what you bring to the table and how valuable you're going to be to that family. That's how you're going to start. Tip number two, make mini stories achievement oriented. So for example, if you're applying for a job with toddlers, since we're already using that example, you would give examples of things that you did in your previous roles that relate to the position of, of working with toddlers. So for example, I helped the last family that I worked for toilet train their two-year-old son. We were super successful. We came up with a plan together and I was able to follow that and have him toilet trained within six months. Something like that. It depends on what you've done. If you have intimate experience or you have school age experience and teaching, you want to relate that to the job and the age of their children. What have you done in the past that you can create a story around that will help them? Tip number three, make sure you tell the family what you know about this role. Be sure to read the job description. So many nannies apply for jobs not having read the entire job description. And there's one or multiple things that wouldn't fit with them or that maybe they wouldn't be interested in or there's a reason the family wouldn't be interested in the nanny. So make sure you've read the job description and when you're in the interview and you're doing your overview of background and experience that you relate it back to them. So how can you tie this experience your past experiences with what they need right now so if in the job description it mentions toilet training activities taking to and from school how can you relate that back to your previous experiences you can say one of the families i worked for in the past i was responsible for planning all the children's activities i would plan them out take them to the parents for approval sign them up for those classes and then be responsible for taking them to and from those activities it shows that you're organized. It shows that you can help plan. It shows that you're not just going to take the children to the activities, but you can actually do the research and planning, get approval, and then sign them up. So it's just that extra little step. So make sure you read the job description, know exactly what the family's looking for, and tie that to 
What can you tell me about yourself? And tip number four is probably one of the most important. If you really want the job, you need to tell them why you're a perfect fit for their family. You want to show them your passion and your drive to be the nanny that they want to hire. You want there to be no choice but for them to want to choose you for this position. And you have to make that clear at the end of the interview. You've given them a snapshot of your background and experience. You've made many stories, so you've tied specific items to these experiences and qualifications. You've made it clear to the employer that you know what they're looking for and that you can bring that to the table. And finally, you've told the employer why you're the best fit for this position and there's no need to look anywhere else. I know it's difficult to think about, but I know that you can do it. You have to take these four points and put it together in a mini story about your background and your experience and how it relates to that family. Where do you start? Here's my bonus tip. You have to practice, practice, practice. Nothing comes easily and nothing comes for free. You've got to put the work in and develop what you say to this question. Tell me about yourself. You can do it. Write some notes, some points, Practice it at home so that every time you're in an interview, you're not rambling, you're not blabbering on about personal information, and you're tying all of what they're looking for to your experience and your background so that they have no choice but to hire you. You know you're fantastic. I know you're fantastic. And the only difference between you and the nanny who doesn't get the job is how you communicate your experience, how you communicate your value, and how you show the family that they have no choice but to hire you because you're the best candidate for the job. If you're looking for more tips on how to get that next job, check out this next video and we'll see you next Saturday. Bye.